Hi, my name is Brian Collin, and this video is on Clark Hole's Drive Reduction Theory. Click the link in the description to take a practice test that I made on this material and others from our other videos using the Learn My Test Study tool. Remember that the best way to study is to take practice tests, and if you can't find good practice tests, build your own using the Learn My Test Study tool. Sign up for free at LearnMyTest.com. Clark Hole's drive reduction theory is designed to explain what motivates us to do things. To explain his theory, we will start with defining primary and secondary drives. A primary drive is anything our body needs, such as food, water, sex, or going to the bathroom. A secondary drive is something we want because we associate it with a primary drive. So for example, earning money is a secondary drive because you can buy food, water, and other things with money. Hull stated that the body tries to maintain an equal balance, which he referred to as homeostasis. For example, we try to maintain a balance of food we eat and energy we burn off throughout the day. Let's take for example that you haven't eaten in seven hours, but you've burned off about 1200 calories during that time. This would create an imbalance in energy burned and food consumed. This imbalance would increase your arousal and your drive to eat. Because of your stomach growling and your high level of arousal, you decide to go ahead and eat dinner. After you eat, your drive to eat and your arousal reduces. This is why Hull called it the drive reduction theory. Your body tells you what it needs by arousing you and you do the behavior to reduce the arousal or the drive. By reducing your drive to eat, the balance between calories burned and food consumed is restored, thus maintaining homeostasis. One of the problems with the drive reduction theory is that it assumes that all motivation is geared toward reducing arousal. But sometimes people actually want to increase their arousal levels. For example, people drink coffee in the morning so they are more alert. Thank you so much for watching this video. Click on the link in the description to take a psychology practice test that I actually made using the Learn My Test study tool. Remember that the best way to study is to take practice tests, and if you can't find good practice tests, build your own for free using the Learn My Test study tool. You can also search our growing list of test banks for one in your field of study. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date on our most recent videos.